Hello. Welcome to the stream. I am back. And, uh... Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. There are some drafts in, in my Twitter that I did not realize I had. Drafts in my Twitter that I didn't realize I had. Like, uh, have you ever hated your significant other? Try to get gold on hard mode stage no stage goddamn nine of Catherine or Catherine full body, and you fucking will. That is a draft. Something in Twitter I never posted. Oh man, I have some weird things that I just forget that I, uh, like, wrote down and then never told anyone. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Nice. Anyways, yeah, it's just a lazy Sunday, but uh, I'm going to do this stream. And then, uh, oh, let me see the cards, boo. Okay, Lena. Boy. Boy. Card time. Here's the cards. So here's my stupid FA deck. And I know. Mason. Beat. Beat. Beat boy. Why would you put Rise Bell the Summoner? My question to you is, why the fuck not? I also put in Rise Bell the Star Psyker. Hmm? Hmm? They both let me increase levels, and this one lets me increase levels during my opponent's turn. So literally, why the fuck not? They're just useful. And if I have both of these in my pendulum zones, I can increase a monster's level twice per turn. So useful, let me tell you, because this entire deck runs on levels. Oh dear lord, it does. And uh, if your levels are not high enough, you're fucked. Because they only get 300 per level. They only get 300 attack per level. And most of them are level 4. And that means 1200 attack. I kind of wish some of the bigger monsters had at least gotten 400 to 500 per level, but no. Anyways, so we're just going to take these dumb this dumb deck of fa cards uh and i also threw uh cyber dragon nova and infinity in there because why not might as well uh and we're just gonna battle some people that's not what i wanted i wanted servers refresh and let's get into it Come on, Hans. Show me what you got. Yes. Shit. I'm going second then. And they might have an OTK. We'll see. Oh, I'm going first. Well, that's actually a little bit scarier. Okay, so let's go normal summon, yes, activate, no, no, and then I will end my turn for now because that's all I can do currently. How will they respond to that? Because they can easily remove that. But if I can get up to level 7, they'll start banishing everything that goes to the graveyard. Oh, that's a spellbook card. 
Uh oh. That's a spellcaster deck. Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. Ooh, that might just be a spellbook deck. Hmm, that's not good. Ooh, spellbook decks are kind of good. Is that a perform. Perform a pal? What the fuck are they playing? What the fuck? So perform a pal spell book. Hmm. Or flip face up, add one spell book spell from your deck to your hand. Okay. Now can they special summon? Yes, they can. Okay, so that's actually Magician's right hand. Oh. Lovely. Okay. That's going to be an issue. Dang, that's really going to be an issue. But. But. I can probably use that to my advantage still. Never mind. Am I going to be able to use this? Hmm. Maybe. Hopefully it'll let me use that. And they've already got that. Okay, so this might actually be a familiar possessed deck. And they've already got Awakening of the Possessed out. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to be annoying to deal with. Ah. Especially because of Magician's right hand. I played this deck on stream that they're playing. I didn't have it the same way they do. But why the fuck do they have a Performa Pal Synchron? Why do they have Odd Eyes Synchron out? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And why can I not activate you? I control an FA monster and it's not letting me activate this. It's a quick play. Huh. Gains attack equal to its level times 300. Normal summon. Okay. Activate. gets negated, but I still get to raise its level, which is what I wanted to do, and then I can do this. Raise its level by two, then raise its level again. Thanks for that. Go to battle phase. Attack that. They activate an effect, but have to pay 300, which is not a lot, but it's something. And that's all I can do this turn, so I'll have to end phase. Hopefully I can get... Oh, that's still not going to work in my fucking favor. Especially with this. Oh, Magician's right hand is really going to screw me over this, day, this game. Hmm... Perform a pal pendulum sorcerer. So they do they just have pendulums in here because they want a pendulum summon? But why why perform a pal? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like it's just such a random splash into this deck. Cause I know how 
I know how familiar and charmers work. It's so interesting and kind of weird that they would throw that in. It's interesting. It makes sense that they would have Spellbook. I'm wondering why they don't have any of the fairy tale monsters. Those are super useful for the Familiar and Charmer deck. Okay, here comes Battle Phase. Ow. And then... Ow. Hmm. So what can I do? Hopefully I can draw one of my uh, field spells. Hopefully not terraforming, though, because terraforming is not going to go the fuck through while they have Magician's right hand. And that's Selene. Ooh. Link some place two spell counters on it. Equal the number of spells on the field and in graveyards. Hmm. Yeah, that is a spell counter card. Cannot target this card for attacks. Form Palm Mystery. They have so much Performafal in here. I'm so confused on what their deck is. Hmm. Like, there's just a surprising amount of Performing Pal in here. I thought this would be a Spellbook, uh, Spellbook and Familiar deck, but no. It's apparently Performa Pals with Familiar. Oh, and there's Access Code Talker. That's gonna fuck me up. Hmm. Hmm. That's a big monster. And I'm fucked. And they can destroy that very easily. Go ahead and do that so I can at least activate that. Battle phase. Attack. Hmm. That's just such a weird choice of a card. Like, no, this makes sense as a card. You can special summon it and then immediately tribute summon something way bigger. I'm trying to figure out... What the fuck is their deck? Yeah, I'm probably not winning this one. Damn you, right hand of the magician. Did they pendulum summon that? Okay. And that's gonna take me out. But my card will not be destroyed. And then now it's destroyed and I lose. Okay. And they're not interested in a rematch. Let's see if I can join you. Cool. I'm going first. Okay. Normal summon. No. Set. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and activate. No. Yes. No. Okay, so now that's a level seven. Activate. Target. No. Special summon. Yes. No. Let's go F.A. City Grand Prix. Special Summon U.
Activate. No. Yes. No, I don't want to activate that. And there we go. That's a pretty good first turn. I'll go ahead and end my turn. I'm happy with how that went. FA can be kind of inconsistent, but if you can get Dawn Dragster out, you can do something. All the other all face a monster your opponent can currently controls until the end of this turn. Your opponent takes no damage, neither player can activate. Oh, son of a bitch, and I can't respond with that. Ooh, because it can only negate. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Well, I can do that at least. Yes. It's going to negate, of course, but why not? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. So now it has zero attack. Hmm. That's not good. Dang, Dark Ruler no more. Pow very powerful card. Can just instantly fuck you up. Dang. That's gonna set me back. And that is... Mikanko, the Uhime. Mikanko Kagura cannot be destroyed by battle, or also your opponent takes any battle damage you would take from battles involving this card instead. It only is following... Uh, you can reveal this card, add one Mikanko card from your deck to your hand, except that one, then discard one card. No, because it'll just... It won't work anyways. Great Makanko of Legend. Damn, you know what I wish I had in hand right now? Uh, I wish I... Oh, and they fucking stole it. Okay. Well. So yeah, when that card leaves the field, oof. Uh, my thing goes to the field when that card goes to the field. And this is a deck all about equip spells. Got it. A ritual deck all about equip spells. Make it special summon one monster. Next graveyard their field but negates effects that's interesting infernal arms dorindal mikanko is an interesting deck fire flint lady which i'm guessing went to the graveyard no it did not someone else did that one did summon out fire flint lady special summon it out because they control a warrior and then they link into ah i sold nice Add one warrior monster from your deck to your hand, but for the rest of this turn, you cannot normal summon or set or special summon monsters with that name, nor activate their monster effects. Yeah, that's a good one for uh, equip decks. Hmm. Okay, so... Noble Knights and Mikanko, it looks like. Yeah. That's a good combination of decks. Damn. Mikanko is just a solid engine for Noble Knights. Like, this is actually just a really impressive game. A really impressive turn to watch them go on. But it might actually go on for the next like 10 minutes. I'm gonna warn now. And there's Formula Synchron. So they can Synchro Summon during my turn. 
except they actually linked some... Why'd you bring out Formula Synchron, then? Do you not have other Synchron... Synchro monsters in there? Okay, that's interesting. And then they go into Splite Elf, which lets them special summon back a level 2 monster. So they get back out Div 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 of the Herald. And then here comes Herald of the Arclight. It's in Graveyard, actually. Is it getting summoned back, or is it just staying in Graveyard? And then Arbask of the Mikonko. Equip monster cannot be destroyed by card effects. And they equip that to Diviner of the Herald. Hmm. What is their play here? Bring out Nini. Nini the Mirror Mikonko. Take no battle damage from battles. If it is, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, your opponent takes any battle damage. Okay, so that's equipped now. And they have my boy. Hmm. So they currently control that. Uh. Normal summon. Is that currently equipped? And they're going to activate Splite Elf. So that they can special summon again. No, I'm not going to activate that. Bring out Crystron. Hmm. Hmm. Cannot activate its effect. Quick effect, you can manage this card. Special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. Ah, oh, I see. This up by two until the end of his turn. How are they going to respond to that? No, do not activate limiter removal. Yes, activate this. They gonna do anything? No, don't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and head to battle phase. What do they have that's wanting to go off? Was it Crystron? It was probably it was Crystron. Okay, so no, not yet. Where are they summoning out? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I have no response to that, but uh, once it's destroyed, I can grab another field spell. Yes. Do they have a way to negate that? No, I don't want to activate that. I will grab... Which card do I actually want to grab? Let's go Grand Prix. And then yes, activate its effect. No, don't activate limiter removal. Activate Grand Prix. Don't activate limiter removal. Yes, activate this. No, don't activate limiter. <laughs> okay. So... I guess let's start out each turn, choose monster, points monster by battle, you can draw one card. Battle phase. Ooh, what is that doing? No! You're fucking kidding me! Oh, come on, dude! Great, so I can't fucking attack them. I can't do fucking anything, really. Do I even get that monster back, or...
Let me guess. They sent another of inviting Rondo. No, it's Infernoble, which they equip to my monster. Do they just get to keep my monster until... Do I get to actually end my fucking turn? And do I get my monster back? Okay, so they're using that to add another Mikon to add Mikonko Kagura so they can ritual summon it again. Let me guess, you can ritual summon with any equipped monster, so they equipped it so they can ritual summon using my monsters. Wouldn't surprise me. Yep. Yep. And am I gonna take Yep. There goes cards they get to destroy. Ritual summon any Makonko. You can must also tribute monsters from the hand of field. Wait, what fucking monsters? So there's one from their field. Oh, they only had to do that. Ah, I see. They only used my one monster. But then they got to destroy Dead Heat. And there's fucking Immortal Phoenix Gearfreed. Jeez, okay, this is not going to go well for me. Yeah, it's really fucking not. Hmm. And as soon as my monster is destroyed, they benefit. Hmm. How can I turn this around in my favor? That's the question. I'm surprised they didn't go for Grand Prix. That's the one that was probably more of a danger to them because it lets me draw at least one extra time per turn. But they might have a way to destroy things. Most cards equipped to a monster you can add and then destroy this card. Okay, so... If they send that to the graveyard, will that destroy my monster? That's my question. Banish one equip spell from field. Special summon this card from your hand. Equip one face-up monster on the field to this card. Hmm. Hmm. They can equip my monster to theirs. So this is just literally, hey, nice field. Let me attach it onto my field and just tell you to go fuck yourself. Okay. That's a really well-built deck. Damn. Hmm. What can I do to get around this? I don't have any negates right now. Damn. And they're fucking taking forever. You good? <laughs> that would be kind of a dick move. I'm not going to do that. Just be like, you good? You didn't die at your keyboard, did you? Nah, I'm not going to be mean. They are taking forever on this, though. Like, they're really just sitting there. How many monsters do they have to look through? One level five or lower fire warrior monster. Are they having that hard of a time choosing? Because they're just sitting there. He's still there? Pippi has come to join me, though, as she normally does, because she wants to beg for food. Are you comfy sitting on the arm of the chair? And now she acts like she's not here, waiting for me to feed her. 
Yes, just clean your paws. Act like I'm not talking to you. Look away from me, even. Big yawn. Do you want to lay on me? Is that what you're wanting? Come here. Up you go. There you go. No, don't rub on the mic. I said lay on me. It's not laying. My dude, I can do this all day. I don't care how boring of a stream it is. I'll just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> You're not going to get me to surrender. <laughs> is this why you gave yourself an infinite timer? <laughs> oh, that's mean, though. Hey, Lena, should I be mean? Uh, it depends why. Uh, they've been searching for a card for the past, like, three minutes. Uh, uh, give them until five minutes. Okay. But, yeah... They're looking through their deck for a level five or lower fire monster, fire warrior monster, and they've been looking for a solid three minutes. I'll give them five minutes. So two more minutes, and then I am... <laughs> and then I'll start saying something mean. It's okay if you're dyslexic. We won't... <laughs> Nobody's here to judge you. I'd like to move on with... No, I'm not going to use dyslexia. That's fucking terribly, terribly not cool of me to do. Uh, I'll just go with... Doesn't matter to me, but I would like to actually keep playing. Okay. Okay. I'll give them one more minute, and then I'm um, sending off messages. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Come on, dude. How long does it take you to find a single monster in a 22-card deck? You have 22 cards, and you only need one monster. And that's probably not even like all those monsters. It's probably like 10 of those monsters max. Probably more like five of those monsters max. Okay, I'm sending off messages now. <laughs> it's been like five minutes. <laughs> you didn't didn't die at your keyboard did you <laughs> I mean you can stall all day I'll keep sitting here. <laughs> what if, oh, what if they did a dick move and they got up to go do something during this? I mean, if you had to get up to do chores, you could have. At least left the game. <laughs> the cards you're looking at.
couldn't have had that th that much text, could they? Okay, what's what's the Yu-Gi-Oh card with the longest amount of text? Yu-Gi-Oh card most text. Endymion. Which Endymion, though? There it is. It's, a uh, Mighty Master Magic. If you didn't throw Endymion the Mighty Master of Magic in there by chance, did you? I mean... I know that's not something you could search with that. But you've been reading for a while now. <laughs> How long do you think it'll take before they get annoyed at me taunting them? Oh, it's already been three minutes. Okay. It's okay if you have a kindergarten reading level. We're not here. <laughs> you don't have to feel ashamed of that. After all, it's impressive how much card text you've had to memorize if that's the case <laughs> I mean I know you're probably gonna win but I wasn't expecting you to go for the longest duel record at the same time. <laughs> Am I being a little toxic? Maybe. Are they literally sitting there for like 10 minutes at this point? Looking through a tiny ass deck with probably a very small card selection? Yes. Yeah, and that's all I'm trying to do is just like tease them to get them back into the game. I could I could read the entire book. B movie script in the time you've been taking. Let's look up the B movie script and just start spamming that. B movie script. Okay, cool. Here we go. <laughs> Just to prove my point, let's open up the B-movie script over on my other monitor. And let's just start uh, copy-pasting. Better not start playing any audio, Twitch. I'm watching you. Mute tab. There we go. Copy. Ah, oh, dang. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. 
the bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. I'm actually doing this. Uh, Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming. Hang on a s Yes! The, the program won't let me. Hello? Barry? Adam? And I got scroll a little. Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry. I'm excited. Here's the graduate. We're very proud of you, son. A perfect report card. All the bees. Very proud. <laughs> Ma! I got a thing going here. I'm, I'm going to keep going. They can't stop me. Okay, so here we go. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you, stop flying in the house. What? I'm sending all of this. They surrendered. Oh my God, I did it. I annoyed them. <laughs> yeah, I just... I literally almost every sentence, I would write out a sentence, send it, sentence, send, sentence, send. So I was spamming them with messages until they finally surrendered because they were just stalling the game. Oh, is the stream frozen? Oh no, it's not frozen. I, uh, they were just sitting there not doing anything. So I started sending them the entire B movie script. Just to get them to, like, do something. <laughs> I'm playing FA. I don't expect to win games, but I don't know. I'm just here to have fun because FA is a dumb deck and I just enjoy it. Okay, so let's set, set, set. Normal summon. Activate this. I didn't think this through at all. Why did I do that? Yeah, I do viewer dues, duels. I'm down to fight against viewers. All right, I just wanted to increase the level. 
But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was going on, but I gave them like five minutes and then I started taunting them. Because, I don't know, dude. They had five full minutes to look through their deck for a single card and they didn't. What the fuck? Oh, that's you. Okay. That was your fan. Hello. Oh. Oh, that's, that's Dark World Dark World Dealings. Darkwing Duck. Okay, so they're just gonna have me draw a lot and then discard a lot. Got it. <laughs> I just I can't believe that that actually worked to just spam the B movie script at them until they finally surrendered. Because I don't know what they were trying to accomplish. They were going to win, but they just sat there. Oh no, my mirror force. That actually kind of sucks. Oof. <laughs> I don't know. People are weird. I'm not sure what the fuck they were doing, but like they just... If they got up to leave, they did it literally in the middle of a duel. No, I'll tell you after stream. This is a stream. This is not a streaming conversation. And you'll find out why. Oh, okay. In defense. Yes. Dude, fuck yeah. I did something smart. Are they gonna negate that? Uh, no. Let's not do that. I wanna actually try to block a little bit of this damage. But yeah, I'm down to play against viewers. I'm just going to play against this person because uh, it'd be rude of me to just leave and be like, bye, I'm going to play against a viewer instead. And the only time I'm rude to opponents is when they're rude to me. Hey, Jaden, what's up? <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, after this, I'll get a room set up and we can play. <laughs> Well, that's not going to help me. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do that. Destroy that. Will they let me do that? Or are they going to do something else? They could Ash Blossom me on this. Oh, you're also playing Jaden and you're winning? Oh, Jaden, you missed out. I sent someone basically the entire, or I spammed someone with the B-movie script because they just started sitting there doing nothing. Okay. I guess let's go with my biggest one. I know it's not going to be anywhere near enough, but it's something at the very least. Increase that level. That's a level six, so I can then activate you. And what can they do in response? make the effect become your opponent discards one card oh i get it that's what they're doing they're changing my effects okay and now they're doing something else i wish this prompt stayed a little longer and i have this on my field the opponent must discard one card i had no cards to discard and uh, they destroyed my only other monster. Yep. 
Okay. We're not obsessed with the B movie. That movie sucks. But it's really useful to use if someone's being an asshole and you just want to get them to leave you alone. Just spam that shit. Literally just send the entire script line by line and they will never, like, try to fuck with you again. Oh, you lost a berry. Damn. It happens to the best of us. Who knew Barry B. Benson was such a good duelist? <laughs> of course, he plays a Battle Wasp deck. <laughs> Jesus, just beat me to death already. Come on. <laughs> We're just going to keep going. I have nothing, my dude. You're good. Just do it. It felt so good to lose to Barry. Okay, there goes that monster. And here comes death. One and two. There we go. Cool. Was this a best of three? This was a best to three. Got it. Mm, that sucks. Oh, well. <laughs> Dark worlds are kind of pog. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Okay, Jaden, I'm going to allow that message, but you have to, you have to deal with the consequences of other people seeing that. I don't think other people want to know what you want, where you want Barry B to sting you. Cause I sure for hell didn't want to know. Activate. Set. I'm playing FA, uh, because I guess I hate myself. <laughs> Normal summon. Oh God. This is just one of those turns where I cannot get anything accomplished, I guess. That's all I can do. Uh, yeah, and then they're do they're gonna go off. Actually, you know what I can do? Summon that defense. Yes. And let's grab you. And then activate. Yes. And that's definitely good. You can deal with the consequences? Okay, Jaden. Whatever you say, dude. Would it be good to summon this, or is that just going to screw me over? Hmm. Okay, let's work with this for now. Okay, so they're probably going to try to take out my field spell first, or they're just going to tribute everything on my field and give me lava golem that's also a thing they could do i don't know why i didn't expect lava golem it's it's a good card i just i wasn't ready for it oh you got a girlfriend pog champ lost her opportunity well Jaden, Jaden, i don't i don't think pog champ was gonna date you Aren't you in, like, middle school? Pog, Pog Champ's a lot older than that, Jade. <laughs> uh, F.A. or U.A.? I think I like F.A. more than U.A. Uh, only because, I don't know, there's something really fun about manipulating the levels of your monsters in order to have effects go off. Okay, so then they have Gates of the Dark World. And uh, the Danger Engine, which is definitely working really well for this deck. Because it's the danger engine. Discarding seems to be this deck's main bread and butter. Okay, so you can discard this card to the graveyard. They banish it. They get to summon it back. Yeah, if it's banished, it gets to be summoned. That's a good effect. Damn. And then they're going to link summon Scar... Scar... Ugh. Scar Uja. You prefer sex? Okay, Jaden. <laughs> eh, 
Hey, my lava golem's actually surprisingly big. And all I have to do is pay, how much is it? 1,000 damage during my standby phase? That's not too bad. <laughs> Gains 300 attack and defense. And then, uh, based on number of materials, special summon one monster from your hand. When it's link summoned, you can draw four cards. Links may have been a mistake. Um, I don't know if I would say links were a mistake. Links are definitely weird. Of course they were. Uh, I don't know. I, I just don't think I would say that links were a mistake. I'll say that they didn't help. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, with the complaints that people had. But I don't think I would call them a mistake, at least not yet. Are you a fiend? You're a beast. What's boosting you? Is it you? Oh, yeah, that points down. Oh, yeah, I forgot you're a four. A Link four. Huh. Damn, that danger... That danger engine is going fucking wild for them. No, not F.A. Dead Heat. I needed that. You bastard. Yeah, they... They really are a bit too splashable. I would say the bigger issue is that, uh... They summon into themselves too easily. Because, uh... Xyz monsters, Synchro monsters... Uh, fusion monsters have a lot harder of a time summoning into themselves. I'm just watching them go off. They're probably going to win this turn, but it's going to be entertaining if they accidentally time themselves out. But Link monsters can just literally summon into themselves super easily. So you can summon out a Link monster and then summon out another Link monster. Almost immediately. So... You know, that's... Oh, and they banish lava... Or no, they destroy lava golem. So now my field is empty and ready for death. <laughs> oh, this is actually going to be really funny if they accidentally time themselves out. They're going to destroy another of my cards? <laughs> Jaden, that's the wrong type of links. They're talking about link monsters, not like internet links. So they've got number 38. They've got a lot. Ginger, din, din, you. Orcist. Yes. <laughs> they used up a solid portion of their time for that. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I'll go ahead and start a room now. As you can see here, uh, things were better than Exodia was top tier. Oh, things were better when Exodia was top tier. Uh, I don't know. I really like uh, Xyz and Synchro Monsters a lot. Uh, so I'm going to be in the EU Central casual if you want to join in. Uh, I've got an infinite time limit on there and I'm going to set the password for, I don't know. Palm sweaty. Knee. Yeah, palm sweaty. And I'll send that in the chat as well. So here's the password if you want to join. Palm sweaty. There we go. I've got the room set up. Feel free to hop in. <laughs> Jaden, you're free to join as well, but I'm going to say go ahead and let crits join first since they asked first. <laughs> but no, I'm, I will fully admit I'm not as good at the faster paced stuff only because my brain can't keep up with a lot of it. Uh, but I really enjoy, oh, oh yeah, no, it was Cobra. I'm sorry, Cobra. I meant you. Kobe, Kobe, that was Kobe. Cool. Hey, Kobe. 
I meant Kobe. Hungry Burger OTK. <laughs> Sweet black wings. Let's see it. I love seeing black wings. I just love five D's. It is my favorite anime and it has some of my favorite, just interesting archetypes. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and activate. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I finally got my hands on a, uh, a Stardust Dragon. There's a card shop that's open like 20 minutes away from me. It's kind of a drive, which sucks, but like so worth it. And uh, they had Stardust Dragon and Shooting Star Dragon. And I was so happy. So I got both of them. And both of those have dipped in price recently. Like Stardust was 33 listed on the card and he looked it up and it was like 15, I think. Maybe 20. Uh, Shooting Star was listed at 13. It, it, when he looked it up to double check the price, it came up for 75 cents. So yeah, uh, card prices have dropped a little on some of those older cards. So now might be the time if you're looking for some older cards just because you want to collect them or anything. Which I do. Because I, I really like Stardust Dragon. What happens in 5Ds if they get a flat tire? Well, I'm assuming it's like racing, so they probably have a pit stop where they can pull over and get their tire changed. Simul the simulator name is EDO Pro. So my best guess is if they get... Oh, Cosmic Blazer Dragon. Mm. Uh, my best guess is if they get a flat tire, uh, they swap out with another member of their team or they get their tire changed. <laughs> And there's Blackwing Dragon. Nice. It's interesting that it's not actually part of its own archetype. Huh. I wonder why they Snails did that. pop. That's weird. Oh, why didn't I put TG Hyper Librarian in mine? Ah, oh, dang it. That's dumb of me. And again, this deck doesn't synchro summon that easily either hot red dragon archfiend coming out Ooh, this is like a 5d's deck it's built different from the one i have the one i have is built stupid black winged assault dragon Ooh, assault mode no not assault mode okay so let's start out let's set let's uh let's special summon you or normal summon you and they will Cosmic Blazar Dragon, my normal summon. Ooh. Yep. Point would summon a monster, negate the summon if you do destroy that monster. Ah, yes. That is very useful. In phase. Special summon. Yep. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah, I did build a deck out of my two favorite archetypes that had, and I used synchro cards on it, which was dumb, but it worked, kind of. Virtual world. I haven't seen virtual world in a while. Yes, activate. And this might get negated. Yep, there it is. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Yeah, they just set up like five negates and then sat on them. Mm. Well, that's going to screw me over. Still, good play. And I can't really summon. Hmm. Because, of course... My deck doesn't really have anything that lets me easily special summon. Because it's fucking F.A. Like, they really just 
let some of these deck some of these archetypes sink or swim and uh some of these cards are heavy as a rock i gotta say okay would you like to rematch okay yeah let's go my turn okay <laughs> the only issue is what can I do okay I guess let's start off that and then let's set this and end my turn <laughs> yeah FA really never got any love and it sucks that the only support guard the only support card it's gotten since then Fucked it over because it was a UA card. So it doesn't benefit the deck like at all. Oh, Jaden, I am not an expert. <laughs> I love that I said that right before you were like, oh, Beat, you're not an expert. I'm aware. Yeah, I'm no expert. Uh, most of my decks that I build myself do not go well, as can be seen in these streams, but at least I'm having fun with them. Okay, that was a trap card. I did not see what trap card there. So there's Blackwing Vada the Knave. There goes Blackwing Shamal. And the Knave is going to activate. Let's send this card on the field. It's exactly eight, and that's how you get out Blackwing Dragon. And then Black Feather Whirlwind is going to go off. Bring back out Vada the Knave. Send that to the graveyard, activating this, and then get out Illusory Spark Token. Going to take damage. This deck is countered by the big bird cage. <laughs> Now this deck is countered by a uh, lava golem, except not really. Don't don't actually believe that, because lava golem has a cage in its artwork. No, lava golem, lava golem would actually only benefit Blackwing Dragon, I think. If you use lava golem on them, because as long as you're not paying life points, as long as it's taking life points. then you can place a black feather counter on this instead. TG Hyper Librarian, another black feather whirlwind. They've got two counters on there already. So yeah, if you want to build a black a blackwing deck from what I'm seeing, get out blackwing dragon and then build a uh, build heavy uh Mutual burn. That's that's what I'm seeing. Hmm. Okay, so they've got a big field set up. Synchro some you can send with black wing monsters from your deck to the graveyard, and if you do this draw soul becomes that monster's banish one black wing from your face up field to graveyard, special summon the destroyed monster field and defense position. Ah, and then you can use it for other synchro summons. That's going to get him a draw again. Mm. I'm playing uh, Eastern Casual. So EU Casual. There goes that. That would have been nice. Yeah, sadly I drew only monsters I could not summon. There's Blackwing Twin Shadow. Banished. And or in your graveyard to the deck and or extra deck. Yeah, that's it makes sense why TG Hyper Librarian got uh, limited. I will not be surprised, though, if it I think it was banned for a while. I won't be surprised if it winds up getting banned again because synchros are making a comeback. Synchros are still very popular and TG Hyper Librarian is just fucking crazy with them. Do I think it's broken outside of that? No, 
not in the least bit. But it's crazy. Yeah, EU, or no, EU East. That's what I meant. It was EU East casual. Yeah. Jeez, it is so cool to watch Black Wings go off, though. <laughs> Oh, nice! The new, uh, the new synchro monster, the Shamus and Calico. Very, very cool new card. Great for synchro summons. Okay, so that brings out Draco, and then it can summon itself back out by returning one to the extra deck. But if they summon with it again, it gets banished. But they're gonna bring Hyper Librarian back out. I'm guessing. No, they're just going to battle phase. Okay. Is that enough to kill? That looks like enough to kill. That's enough to kill. I'm probably just dumb. Let me double check. Uh, No, it's EU Central Casual. You were right. I'm sorry. I'm totally brain dead about that. <laughs> Okay, so I'll go ahead and keep the uh, same password and everything. It's capital P, palm, space, sweaty. Palm, sweaty. How can I fix this deck up? Actually, yeah. After this, I might see about how to change this deck to make it work better. Yeah, good game. Sorry. <laughs> I left their good game. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I was just trying to get the uh, the server name for Jaden. <laughs> okay, so what cards can I use that better help this deck? It was smart of me to include those two pendulum cards that let me increase levels because that can definitely help. I need more negates, and both of those can negate well. Both of my two extra deck monsters can negate well. One of my uh, extra deck monsters can do really well if I get it high enough level to summon things back from the graveyard, which will be very useful. Jaden, make sure to set it to where you can see locked rooms. So yeah, those three are useful. I included Infinity just because it's, it's a fun card to splash in. Hazy Flame. I need to look up Hazy Flame. Hazy Flame. Oh, I got an email. No. Leave me alone, GoFundMe. Here we go. Hazy Flame. Uh, that's not the wiki I want. I want this one. That's also not the wiki I want. <clears throat> Cockmaster Sex Doer. Nice name, Jaden. <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus. I just... Yeah, this is the one I want. Fire King Monsters... So there's Basil Trees. Hmm. <laughs> Jaden, if you want to play, you need you should try to find some time to practice. I know that can be a little hard. Okay, I'll go ahead and Uh it's my turn, so nothing yet. No, let's not do that yet. Let's set you Set you, and in phase. So now it's your turn, Jaden. So choose one of your monsters, and you'll either special or normal summon it based off its effects. Just make sure to read the card effects. Okay, you know what? Yeah, th I guess that works. <laughs> Jesus, that was so out of no. <laughs> I wasn't ready.
ready to have that pop up in the first turn again. Paradise branded. Oh, it's a branded deck? Okay. Oh, jeez. Man, every first turn Dark Ruler just hits my deck hard. Because <laughs> my deck does not have attack without effects. <laughs> there goes my monster. And I get... Okay. I get a kaiju. Where are the Jerry Beans man at? <laughs> Not sure. I heard he was in rehab last I heard. I hope he's doing okay. <laughs> Yeah, let's go ahead and activate you. Come back from the graveyard. Rise! Okay, let's activate. Activate there on you. Yes. Uh, increase this card's level by one. And uh, increase this card's level by one. And then let's normal summon. Yes. Activate. Increase this card's level by one. <laughs> Yeah, it was very tragic to hear about Jerry Bean Man and his uh, horrible loss of his wife and how that caused him to spiral down into drinking. <laughs> Alcoholism is a serious problem in America. Hmm. Okay. And then... You have an effect you can activate, Jaden. Yeah, I hope Jerry. I hope Jerry Bean Man is doing well too. I hope he knows that we're all rooting for him wherever he is. <laughs> okay, and that effect goes off. Banished. You can add from your deck to your hand one Fallen of Aldaz. Oh, you heard he's from New Jersey? That's super rough, dude. It's hard to live in New Jersey. Attack. <laughs> At least he's not from Albuquerque. I've heard terrible things about Albuquerque from uh, Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> Your beauty. I mean, you're doing something at least, Jaden. You successfully negated my monster on my first turn. You uh, got a card into hand. You have another really useful card activated. And you took advantage of the fact that I was banishing your stuff. You're learning. You're getting there. I mean, I think your only mistake currently was that, uh, I'm not sure why you, uh, gave me a kaiju. Oh, Albuquerque is under the protection of, uh, Saul Goodman. Good for Albuquerque. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and, uh, normal summon. Yes. Activate, increase level, and what is Jaden going to do? You're doing random stuff you don't know? I mean, to be fair, you did some okay things.
Dimensional barrier, always useful. Uh, maybe not currently, but you blocked something. And let's see, you're only with FA monsters, right? Yeah. Ever touch my beauty, your beauty again? You're not forgiving me. <laughs> uh, so this isn't a website. This is EDO Pro. Uh, which is a simulator that you can download by going through a bunch of convoluted steps. Your big dog is untouchable. Uh, by like finding their Twitter, which has a link to their Discord, which has a specific channel in the Discord. And then you have to download the specific application of it that runs with your, uh, with your specific, uh, sure thing, Jaden, I'm down. With your specific, uh, system and yeah it's it's a little hard to find edo pro okay let's set let's normal summon let's activate and then let's activate Reduce its level by two. Draw a card. Yes. Increase its level. Yes. Increase its level. And then let's go ahead and end it there. Yeah, I know. EDO Pro can be a little hard to get. Uh, you should be able to find their Twitter pretty easily with the... It's just like at EDO Pro or something like that. Yeah, just remember, if you're ever in trouble, you better call Saul. That's right, Albuquerque. Just, just call on him. <laughs> so do you want to hear a thing that I, I was not aware this was an actual thing that people like did and used? Um field cards, like not field spells, field cards are also called like field centers. And they're literally completely useless cards that have artwork on them that go directly in the center of the field right here where my battle phase button is. Can I explain why they do that? No, I have no idea. I don't fully understand it. But they do. It's really interesting. Coming for you, Jaden. So there's one and two. But yeah, and these things are not like, it's not like they're super expensive, but they're not cheap either. They're like, they're like five to ten dollars for not a card, but just this random piece of artwork that you put in the center of the field only while you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's for aesthetic, I guess. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. It's just it's just weird. You know what I mean? Hmm, that's actually not a bad play. Uh Monsters from your hand or field, including a dragon monster. Ooh. Accept this card. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just in case, kapow. Just to be safe. Because the only thing I could play on my side of the field that would screw me over uh, more than, you know, this works for me. What does not work for me is a uh, skill drain, which will turn all the attack of all of my monsters into zero. Ooh. 
Tad. Ooh, that's actually, this actually might be a really good play on your part, Jaden. Oh, my goodness. You got this, Jaden. I believe in you. Wow, that was actually just like, oh, that's a big monster. Gains attack equal to the combined original levels of the monsters used for its fusion, summon times 100. It is unaffected by the activated effects of any other monster's special summon from the extra deck during the end phase of this card. Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, flip that face down. <laughs> that was scary, Jaden. That was a really good summon. That was a great turn. Oh, one word of uh, one word of advice, though, Jaden. Uh, extra deck monsters do not have to go in the extra deck monster zone. You can summon them anywhere on your field, but it is nice that you can put them there as well. This is links have to go there. Hmm. Okay, I guess let's just go ahead and. Special summon you. Read the card info and not understand a thing. Act like I do and play random cards. To be fair, you did a surprisingly good job for not understanding any of the cards. Let's go you over here. And they, that gets that, and you get a level, which is very useful. And if I want, I can, no, that wouldn't be useful. So you're level six, you're level seven. And you have 3,900 attack, and okay, battle phase. Attack that. I do wonder, if I was going to get like a field center or like a, whatever it is. Branded blade. Ooh. Ooh, that's actually not a bad idea. Yes. Uh, yeah, go ahead and Attack that. I wonder what artwork I'd, I would go for. Screams of the Branded. What? Jaden, you just... Oh my god, Jaden. You're doing a really good job. I want you to know that. I'm just flabbergasted because I know you and I know that you don't know what you're doing right now. <laughs> but you're doing a really good job at keeping yourself protected and alive. <laughs> okay, so banish that. For that monster the hand. So add back... Nullius, Nullius, Felius. Hey, what up, Caribou? Going pretty well. Uh, playing against a viewer. He's, uh, he doesn't really know what he's doing, but he's, like, actually doing really well. And that's kind of terrifying. Like, I'm in the lead right now, but that could change at any moment, it seems. Okay, so that comes onto the field. I don't think so. Let's go ahead and negate that. He's playing uh, Branded. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Ooh, this could be useful. Activate. <laughs> OK, 
kind of getting the hang of it. Thanks, teacher. Yeah, no, you're definitely getting the hang of it, dude. Awesome job so far. It's not Jaden Yuki, but that would be cool. You're in danger right now? Not really. So that's level six. This will be a little bit higher, so... Uh... No, let's go to battle phase like this. Okay. No, that was a mistake. Mmm. Okay, no, I fucked myself on that one. Hi. Hi. Jaden's doing a really good job. I heard. I'm watching the stream. Oh, nice. Mostly to make sure that, you know, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Nothing Wait, ever you, happens. I have the constant fear that if I close my eyes, I'll never get to see the light of the sun ever again. Oh, that's that's a really weird feeling, Lena. <laughs> she walks into my room, tells me that she's watching the stream, and then she just leans forward when I have my hand above my head and starts <laughs> chewing on my pinky. What the fuck is wrong with you? Ugh. I'm not going to say that back after you just chewed on my finger like a weirdo. I said I'm not going to say that back after you just chewed on my fingo finger <sighs> finger like a weirdo. You're a creep. <laughs> okay, so we can only control one monster of each type. Oh, fuck, dude. That's going to fuck me up a little. Hmm. If only I could summon you. <laughs> I mean, with how well you're playing, considering you barely know the game, you might as well be Jaden Yuki. And yes, thank you, Cow Milk, for chewing on my finger like a deranged lunatic. <laughs> okay, so I don't have anything in Graveyard I can use just now. I wish I could use this, but I need to have higher attack. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Uh She chewed on my fucking finger. Oh, hi Pippi. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to be streaming again tonight for another long stream. I know I missed Friday because of the Weird Al concert, uh, but I'm going to have another uh, stream tonight. I have a god inside me. I mean, like, in the Yu-Gi-Oh way. <laughs> I have a god inside me because I am god. <laughs> if you ever need to build your confidence, just think of yourself as god. But be a benevolent one who tries to help those around them. Because remember... If you worship yourself, then nobody else can tear you down. That is Judgment of the Branded. And it goes back into the deck. Did that go into the deck or the graveyard? I think deck. I have a god inside me because he's dicking me down. Okay, so let's... Normal summon. Yes. Increase your own level. Activate. Battle phase. Attack. That's not going to save me, but it's something I can at least do. Oh yeah, Lena, he got a girlfriend and he was joking around about how you lost your opportunity to be with him. And I told him you probably weren't interested because he's like, Jaden, how old are you? Because you're in, like, middle school, right? So, I don't think PogChamp was going to date you. Or, never mind, I guess PogChamp was willing. <sighs> the world's gone mad. I don't know. Ugh. What has my life come to? I didn't know you were like this, my roommate. Uh, 
Uh, why are you watching my... My cat is watching my hands like I've got a treat in them. There's no treat. Don't bite me. I see, don't bite me. I, I love you. Don't bite me. Yes. Increase the level. Don't... Don't you fucking bite me, bitch. Don't... Mm -hmm. You're six feet old. In I'm life, you only get in one life, you only get one normal summon. Then you got a special summon. Special summon your spirit from the afterlife. Dear lord, this one fucking monster getting nay nade. Uh, I'm just stuck. There's a big monster in the way, and I don't know what to do about it. I would take my hat off. Ooh. Okay, so... Uh, perfect. This is going very well for me, let me tell you. <laughs> now you may ask, Feet, what are you going to do now? I will answer that as soon as I have an answer. Okay, Jaden. Okay. You know what? That wasn't a bad choice. I'm just confused. Are you going to slowly beat me to death, I guess? Oh, okay. I don't understand this duel anymore. Hmm. You're not helping me. Go there. Ugh. Why? Why couldn't I draw another F.A. monster instead of you? Did I throw Rise Bell monsters into this deck just so that I could increase my monsters levels a little bit more? Maybe. Is it working for me? Not really, but we all make mistakes. Oh, is this actually going to be enough to kill me now? No, it's not. Okay. Close, but no cigar. I just hear my roommate laughing from her room. It's almost creepy. Because I just suddenly hear like, Ha <laughs> Listen, she's going to walk over here and make fun of me because I made fun of her now. <laughs> or she's just going to scream, fuck you. You were joking when you said you were going to win? I mean, it happens, my dude. You did a really good job. Like, you just set up a seriously strong board. <laughs> Fucking no, I don't want that monster. I still cannot summon anything. Hmm. I couldn't even draw, like, my fucking... Anything. Any monsters. Where are they all? Hmm. This is what we call getting bricked. I'm not surprised that I get bricked. Uh, because it is a running gag that when I play Magic the Gathering, I am either mana starved or mana flooded. It's just how it goes. Nice job, Jaden! You did it! You did it! You did it! Go, Jaden! Dude, that was awesome! <laughs> Doesn't matter if you got lucky, you won! You played well, dude! Those were solid choices! Except for maybe the one where you turned your two 800 attackers into attack position, but... Who cares? You still won, dude! Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to make this deck work better. 
what can I do to improve this deck? I want to keep my negates. I'm thinking... Uh, you're useful, but you're not that useful. No, you're actually pretty useful. I'd like to keep you. Limiter removal is great for if I'm going to try to, like, OTK, which I did against an AI. More Pot of Greed. I do need to draw more often. I've got two of these, which are not as useful as... If I could discard those would be nice. Okay, so... Uh, foolish Burial... Goods. I want Foolish Burial Goods. Add one of you... No, just one. And then FA. Lena says I'm just overly nice. I say Lena's a bitch. <laughs> Hyper Stadium. Uh, UA Hyper Stadium. Always treat as an FA card. When this card is activated, you can add one UA or FA monster from your deck to your hand, or add one UA stadium from your graveyard to your hand. You can reveal one field spell in your hand and pay 1,000 life points. You can normal summon... Oh! Oh, that's actually like... Why do I not have this in my deck? Okay. What can I take out to put this in? Definitely you. Because I want like three of those because they're just useful. <laughs> Already got over Pog Champ. Jeez. Poor Pog Champ. Okay, let's go ahead and take. No, that. You're too useful for getting rid of this, which is then useful for. Do I actually want FA Test Run in my deck? Uh, that's a tough choice. Okay, let's take out both of those. Put all three of you in. Why the fuck are you back there? You have to go, like, way the fuck up here. You. Okay, this. If this was always... Oh, it is treated as an FA card, so I can put that in. That's super useful, actually. So yeah, let's add one of those. Okay. Or actually, two of those would be useful. And then... What else can I add? Let's make it a 45 deck. That's a lot of spells, though. Which can clog up my hand. I'm gonna... Oh, but it's so fun to have FA winners on the field. Hmm. What's up, Jaden? Hmm. What can I do? I was not. No, I was actually playing full out. If anything, the deck itself held back against you because it bricked me, but no, I played I played to the best of my ability. Where's where's my disclaimer button? I need a disclaimer that says uh, beat is not a strong player. <laughs> I taught my friend Evan how to play and uh, Evan pretty quickly started kicking my ass. Okay, I want only one of you. And what else can I add? Powerful Rebirth is useful to me because it'll increase a level, but with UA Man of the Match, I actually don't need Power of Rebirth, Powerful Rebirth. Actually, no, Powerful Rebirth is still going to be useful. Because Man of... No, Man of the Match only... 
requires something to be destroyed, so... Okay, let's let's keep one copy in. Oh, uh, what else? Magnet force is very useful to me. Hmm. What other cards can I add in? <laughs> I mean, I still beat my friend a lot. Uh, he, he's really good at magic, but like, I think it's that we both, when it comes to weaker decks, I can be really well at setting up strategies if I can get my pieces in play. And when it comes to stronger decks, he's really good at just out of nowhere throwing things. Nibiru, thank you. That's a really good choice. Nibiru. Uh, do I want a kaiju or two? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, Kaiju would be a good choice. Of course, the one that you always throw in, because anything can beat over it. Uh, Gamma Seal. And then, I guess, uh, Star Destroying Kaiju. So yeah, put all those in. I wonder if that will help out with the consistency. Hopefully, because this new field, this other field spell is very, very useful. And uh, let's take you back down to two. Dang. I wish F.A. had more monsters. I really do. Because I think that's their biggest issue right now. They don't have enough monsters in their archetype. Main deck monsters, I mean. It's fine if you only have like two extra deck monsters. You can throw other extra deck monsters in there. But main deck monsters, they only have six. They have six. That's it. And two of them, you have to tribute, summon, tribute, summon, or special summon, or just special summon. And it's a very specific requirement. Is it kind of an easier requirement? Yes. But even then, it's not like it's, oh, I can just do it out of the blue, especially considering... Ah, oh, I only want two of those, not three. Because those don't increase the levels of my monsters at all. Actually, I might only want one Hyper Stadium. Still, Hyper Stadium will help with consistency. FA Winners is just dumb, and I want to keep it in. And that opens up three more slots for things I can throw in. Probably Ash Blossoms. Ash Blossoms are just always useful. Yeah, no, you chose a really good choice because it used... It started off super strong because it used everything that uh, were its fusion, fusion materials. I could throw in Max C, but like Max C feels like cheating. I know it's not, but... Well, kind of is if I'm playing in TCG. I mean, if I want to play in... Uh, if I want to play with the meta of... Uh, the ban list of Duel Masters. That's not the name. Master Duel. But yeah, math... Max C just feels like cheating. Exodia Chew. Please, we do not need a new Sonic Chew. Oh yeah, did you hear that uh, Chris Chan somehow fucking vanished from his court hearing? Apparently, uh, went to the bathroom, 
or I guess her because she's Christina now, and we are not transphobic, even to people we hate. That's not cool. Uh, Christina, so she went to the bathroom and apparently climbed out a window and disappeared. And the police could not find her. So, yeah, that's like, wow. Okay, so for the extra deck, TG Hyper Librarian would be good. Let's see, what else? Do they have a TG card? Because you require, yeah, you require TG monsters. Hmm. So what else can I throw in? SRW Serpain. Oh, Screw? Screw. Oh, Screw Serpent? TG Screw Serpent? If this card is normal expression... Sorry, I can't talk, apparently. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one level four or lower TG monster in your graveyard, except TG Screw Serpent. Special summon that monster, but its effects are negated. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one TG monster you control. Increase or decrease, reduce its level by one until the end of this turn. Could I just make this an FATG deck? I could. Hmm. Let's look at the TGs again. So you're useful. Warwolf. Uh, when a level four or lower monster is special summoned, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card. I didn't mean to drop my thing. That was my controller. Uh, well, you could special summon this card from your hand once per turn during the end phase. This card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed on the field and sent there this turn. You can add one TG monster from your deck to your hand. Okay, yeah, so like one serp screw serpent and one war wolf could be useful. TG gear zombie. Ugh. Hmm, how else can I edit this deck? Booster Raptor. Special summon this card from your hand. Let's turn during the end phase. This card is in the graveyard. Add one TG monster from your deck. Except TG Booster Raptor. So it's destroyed on the oh, so a lot of them have the effect of if they were destroyed on the field and in the graveyard, you can add one from the... Okay. So Booster Raptor is a good choice. Booster with Misk Dina. Oh, Miscellaneousaurus. Okay, I'll be right back real quick.
Okay. So, uh, yeah, fair enough that you're not going to be here tonight for the stream, Jaden. That's fine, dude. No worries. I kind of figured you probably wouldn't be able to. Uh, Because, uh, you know, Labor Day is tomorrow, so a lot of people have work off, but not school off. And I have work off. Because I'm 23, so I'm an adult. Mm. Kind of sucks sometimes, i got to be honest. Okay, so Screw Serpent, TG Booster, Miscellaneous Horse. During the main phase, quick fact, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. Dinosaur monsters you control... Oh, you're a dinosaur, that's why. Unaffected by your opponent's activate effects. Their level equal to the total number of monsters banished to activate this effect. Destroy it during the end phase. Oh, okay. You're not a tuner, though. What's up, Jaden? Uh, that's nice. If you're going to say something really private, uh, I am going to warn you, you are in the chat of a stream. Oh, well, thank you. I'm happy you can trust me. I would rather not break the trust of uh, my viewers. Eh, just feels better to be nice, in my opinion. Okay, so let's see. Miscellaneous Saurus could definitely work in here. I could take out these. Okay. So let's take out one of the Ash Blossoms. Two should be enough. Let's keep Screw Serpent. Actually, you know what? Add you in. Monster. Tuner. Dinosaur. And then I want level one. Star Guardian? Treat as a level 8 monster when used for a synchro summon. A synchro monster uses card as material gains its effects based on its original level. Hmm. Okay. That could work in my favor. I could maybe use that. That's a sea serpent, though. That's not it. Oh, I see why. I accidentally scrolled on that and not, okay. So I need dinosaur again. Dinosaur. Click over here. Now I can scroll through here. There's nothing to scroll anyways. Uh, you contribute this card to select one level four or lower Jirak monster in your graveyard. Dino Wrestler. Cool. Let's look at Star Guardian. TG Star Guardian. Yeah, I want non-tuners, right. So I can take you out, throw Star Guardian in, and then actually add... I don't need TG tuners, I need TG non-tuners. You can be useful as well. Okay, so... In phase of cards in the graveyard. Are there any other TG monsters like dinos? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, Star Guardian is not a bad choice. 
Tank Grub, Cyber Magician. TG Monsters in hand can be used as the non tuner synchro materials. Uh, That's a 46 card deck. I'll keep limiter removal. It's just useful. I guess I'll take out magnet force. Yeah. Okay, I'll test this one more time. Whoops, they're playing. <laughs> I really do wonder if this actually is going to work. This is going to be my last duel of the day, by the way. Uh, I'm past where I wanted to have the stream end. I'm fine with that, though. Well, that's... Definitely not what I wanted, and let's go ahead and immediately Ash Blossom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I had two games of first turn dark... Ruler, I know what you mean. It sucked. Or was that a perfect as in I helped them? I could have helped them by accident. <laughs> it's a destiny hero deck okay if there's a hero deck i want to try making i think it's a uh, vision heroes i want to see how good of a vision hero deck i can make because vision heroes are weird and i like that because i'm all about weird archetypes if they have an unusual effect that you're not going to see in other archetypes or that like works slightly differently from other archetypes. I want to try it. And I've tried crystal beasts. I wasn't a fan of those vision heroes. I want to give a shot because I know both of those are kind of similar. Pippi is very much happier with me now because I fed her when I got up. My cat loves me, but she is also very demanding for food. And dear Lord, this is just going off. Extra hero cross guy. <laughs> he shows up on the battlefield and his, uh, his like ex boomerangs have one side that's slightly longer. And he's like, here on my battlefield, we praise the Lord. And he throws a boomerang thing at you and you're just like, Oh, wow, that's actually really impressive that that's flying that way. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Extra hero. Link summoned you can target one Destiny hero monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. Okay, so that's about... That's about Destiny heroes as well. No monster with a different name from your deck. That's Destiny Hero Dark Angel. They're really just going off. And Dark Angel is on my field now. Woo! Okay. Uh, I guess let's real quick see if I can 
do this. And they're going to negate that, I'm guessing. Yep, okay. And that's going to activate an effect on that one. Have you ever seen someone time themselves out during your turn? Because I swear that can happen. They're going to get out all three of those that they just chose from the graveyard. And this is going to go off. Cool. Set. Uh, set. That's a level one. This is a level one. <laughs> Auto navigator. So what should I go with? Sure, fuck it. Let's go ahead and normal summon to use its effect if I can get that off. Yeah! Here we go, okay. Activate. Well, fuck. Hmm. This is a way to get exponentially better at a game for a short slash semi-long period of time. Just get in the zone. Just only music you light and forget about time. Yeah, I could do that. Why the fuck did that immediately explode, though? What did that? Because I actually don't know. Was it you? No. Fuck you. Uh, I say that only because I activated that, not actually meaning it. So what fucking blew up my field spell as soon as it activated? Well, there goes man of the match, which would have been very nice to have. Hmm. Now comes dystopia. Maybe I should have saved that. But what the fuck? I'm still confused. I'm not seeing any effects that should have immediately... Go. What? Yeah, that test didn't go very well. I guess I'll try it against an AI just to see if the consistency's up. That's, I'm so confused. I, I just have no idea what blew up my field spell. 
DPE deserves no credit. Okay. In phase. I just, I'm so curious what it was that blew up my thing immediately. And there goes that. Mm. So I'm going to say no. Like, fuck no, the consistency was not improved. Might be even worse. Nope, let that go off. Because they can't target my cards. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Okay, so it's currently a level six, meaning I can destroy that without my card being destroyed. Yes, activate. No. Attack you. No. Fuck. Damn. Damn. Damn you, Mirror Force. Of course, they got rid of my Mirror Force. Yes. Because fuck you. Yeah, it's going to kill me. Yeah, I don't think that helped the consistency at all. Hmm. No. Activate. No. Yes. Yes. No. So now it's a level 10, and it's originally level 4, which means that's not going to work out in my favor. But it'll go down to a level 8, which is still not what I need. I need it to be a level 9. Okay. In phase. But they're going to burn themselves getting things out onto the field with effects. Fuck. Damn. And they shuffle it. Lovely. Yeah, no, the consistency is just even more fucked than it was. I can at least use this. Activate. No. Yes. Let's go ahead and add. Let's go you. Hmm. Normal summon. Oh, wait, I have to reveal the one field spell in your hand. I don't have any field spells in my hand. Okay, let's do that. No. 
So now it's a level seven. Perfect. Activate. No. Yes. And what did they just choose? I did not see that. They probably just chose synchros. That's fine. I can work with that. I'm just playing against an AI right now for any new viewers. They chose synchros. That was going to work perfectly. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck it. Yes. No. Uh, then I can... Yeah, I might just have to limit her removal. Ugh. And then everything I own gets destroyed. Fuck it. Let's empty their field. Yes. Because it'll let me draw, and then I can buff this up again. And this is not one that can attack twice, but I did something. And that gets shuffled in by their effect. Yes, fucking negate that. Ow. Normal summon go. Is there anything I can do? No. So, yeah. Wait, I'm dumb. I can... Oh, man. And they puppet control me. And then they link summon with it. Yep. Mm. I, I cannot catch a break from you, you fucker. That is... So many of the duels against this thing because I just try to test dumb decks. <sighs> yeah, is there anything I can even fucking do? There's a fucking big playmaker again. Ugh, damn. Yeah, no, we didn't improve this deck at all we basically took a deck that was on a crutch uh kicked the crutch out from under it and then broke its legs again like we really just fucked this deck over its consistency went down the drain hmm What can I do? Hmm. What can I do to get more of the monsters in my hand? For some reason, I had Union Driver in this deck. I don't know why. That was before I started editing, editing this deck today. Why did I have Union Driver in there? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll keep working on this deck off of stream, and I'll maybe bring it back again another day. Anyways, I'm going to call it there. Everybody, you have a good uh, bit of your day. I'll be back in like three and a half hours for more Danganronpa tonight. We're going to finally finish that game. Finally. It's been months. <laughs> We're going to be done with it. I'll be back tonight. Uh, feel free to check out my social media. There's Twitter, there's Discord, and there's YouTube. Bye, Jaden. Uh, and then I'm also part of a small streamer group, which is owned by... Well, it's run by Glorious Bowser. He's another streamer on Twitch. Uh, it's called The Koopa Troop. If you're a streamer as well, feel free to join that, and we can help support you because they help support me. So I'll see you guys later.